This is James from the Stuff and the Things, and today we're going to be talking about some growlers. Uh, we have your old school glass growlers over here, but what we're going to talk about today is the Growlerworks UKEG and the Mancan. Both are pressurized systems, and I'm going to tell you which one uh, of the two is, is, is the better one. Okay, we're going to start off by talking about the Growlerworks UK. Both of these um, pressurized uh, growlers I got on Kickstarter, so they, they both uh, were Kickstarters and now both available for sale, so I'll put links to those uh, below. Uh, the Growlerworks was, it came out first. Um, it was a Kickstarter in uh, October of 2014. They estimated it was going to start shipping. Uh, in um, May of 2015. It actually didn't ship in limited quantities until December of 2015. Uh, so I've had mine for over a year, but um, about 50% of the rewards for that Kickstarter haven't shipped yet. The This is the 64 ounce, uh, but the 128 ounce uh, Growler, uh, they're having issues with it, came in late. Um, so those haven't ha actually shipped and a lot of people haven't got them yet. Um, they had over 10,000 backers and they raised 1.5 million dollars uh, for these. Um, so a little bit about, about this, it's a, um, this is the stainless steel version, they also have a, a copper plated version and this is the 64 ounce. Um, it has a, um, the pressurized uh, piece is actually inside the growler, it's kind of interesting the way they did it, but you take it apart and inside here, it takes a 8 gram or a 16 uh, gram CO2 cartridge. So you insert it, uh, close it, which cause, keeps the CO2 inside. And then there's a, a dial, um, so you can turn it all the way off or you can select how much pressure goes into uh, the, the, the growler to keep your beer fresh. Uh, so that's the regulator and it actually goes inside. The stainless steel is a uh, double-walled um, stainless steel, so it actually keep your beer cool if you were going to take it uh, out on the go. Um, it has the beer actually pours from the top, so the pressure forces it down and then up and then out through the top. Um, it has a pressure gauge at the bottom, so you can see how much pressure is currently in in, in the in the UK, and then it has a uh, glass uh, viewing where you can see the current level of the growler uh, and it's marked off in pints so you know how many how many beers you have left uh, in essence. Um, it's really well made. Uh, the only issues I have with it is with the regulator. Um, it jams up and I've used it maybe a half a dozen times and I've already had to take it apart, uh, reset everything and put it back together. And um, from people online, I've, I've read that that's a common issue, and I really don't want to have to deal with taking it apart and putting it back together every few times I use it. Um, it does get a lot of attention when you take it into your local uh, growler fill shop. So uh, if you want people coming around asking, uh, what is that, where'd you get it? Uh, this is definitely a more impressive growler than the man can. Um, but it does, it does have some issues uh, with the regulator. And then the other thing is there's a little um, switch on the side here to turn on and off um, to pour, and that gets stuck quite often. And sometimes you actually have to use a wrench to kind of push it through. Um, and this thing is really kind of loose, so I don't put too much pressure. It feels like you're bending it. Um, so there's a couple issues. Um, I've used it a half dozen times, like I said. Uh, it works really well for what it is, minus... Um, the regulator and then this little valve thing gets stuck. So the second growler we're going to talk about is the Mancan. It was also a Kickstarter. Um, this one was put up on Kickstarter in um, May of 2015 with projected shipping uh, of September 2015. Um, it actually didn't ship until December 2015. And as far as I know, there was 1,600 backers and they've all got their Mancans. Uh, the project raised uh, $320,000, so it wasn't as successful as this one. But given that I have two 128 ounces and one of the 64s, you can kind of get the idea that this is the one I prefer. Um, so I'm going to give you a little details about it. Um, but this is the one I use on a weekly basis now.
Um, so, and we just got this one filled. This is the 64, uh, and these are the 128s. Uh, what's nice about this is you can just take the keg part with you, the man can with you, um, with with the top on it, and you can pop off the, the accessories. Where this is all built into to, to the growler, uh, regulator goes inside. This one has a regulator that goes on the outside, and it has the hose, the tap, that goes on the outside also. So, like that one, uh, it takes a CO2 cartridge. In this case, it takes a 16 gram cartridge. Um, one of these for the 64, um, I think I usually use, I can fill this up three or four times with one um, uh, uh, CO2 cartridge. So, works really well. Um, so let's, this is full, so let's actually see how it pours. Um, so this is this, the CO2, it goes on the side, you just pop it on, and then this is your uh, hose, you pop it on the top. Um, there's an on and off switch, you can see it here. So you can see uh, green and red. Uh, if you want to pressurize uh, the man can, you just hit the green side and CO2 will start to flow into the can. So the first time you use the man can uh, and the CO2 is going in into the, to the can, uh, you get a lot of head. Uh, but uh, the second time usually it's a little less, so it still is doing it quite a bit, but it's doing a little better. Okay, so the other thing with this is uh, cleaning your uh, growler when, when, when you're done with it. Um, to be honest, this one uh, is hard to clean, uh, right? So you have to clean out, all, it's all attached. You basically have to repressurize the whole thing and force water through. Both of them sell these like cleaner tabs. This is the man, man can version of it. Uh, but they want you to pop one in with water and then rinse it through. Uh, this one takes a while to clean. This one, on the other hand, is a little easier because you can just pop off your accessories, right? Um, and then uh, just wash out this, and you can also force uh, some water through through the hose. But it doesn't take as much as this because you have to fill it all the way back up, fill it with air again, um, and then push air through here to, to clean out the whole thing. One of these is basically use one 8-gram uh, cartridge with each fill with this because you basically use half of it to pressurize your beer and then the other half to clean it at the end. Whereas this one you just need a little bit of CO2 um, to clean out the piece. And just to give you an idea, this basically has a hose that goes down to the bottom so it draws from the bottom and then you know pushes out. So we're going to show you what they look like in the fridge. Uh, we'll start with the Growler Works UKEG. This is a 64 ounce. Um, there's plenty of room for it. I don't have a 128 ounce to tell you what that's going to look like, but it may be bumping the top, especially uh, with the handle here. Uh, but it does fit, um, and you have access to everything, um, the regulator um, and everything, so that's good. The second one we're going to show you is the 64 ounce man can. Um, and again, this one fits fine. Um, the accessories can, can kind of be moved and tilted, so it all fits. Um, you have access to the switch and you have access to, to the hose. So this is fine. Um, the third one is the 128 ounce uh, man can. And that one actually is not going to fit with uh, the regulator on it, but it comes with this little silver cap. So what you could do is fill it, store it in your fridge, and then when you're ready, you could take it out, um, put the regulator in, um, wherever you're going to go, you could use it at that point, but you couldn't use it as a daily drinker um, at this size, at least not in our fridge. <laughs> it's all so that's the end of the review for the, the Growlers. Um, I obviously like the Man Can over the UKEG, so if you guys are looking for a system to keep your beer fresh for longer, I would highly recommend the Man Can. Uh, the 64 will give you four to five beers, uh, so maybe it'll last you most of the week. Um, if you want to uh, see some of my previous uh, videos, you can click in the middle. If you want to uh, subscribe to my channel, click on the left side. And if you want to click to my daughter's videos helping with this, you can click on the right side. If you have any comments or questions, uh, please ask below.